uh, I know it's been a minute. It's been a while since I haven't posted. Um, if you saw the video of the new house, I've moved. Yay. But, um, I haven't really got the whole house situated yet. It's an absolute mess. There's still boxes everywhere. Um, and I'm still working a lot. So, um, today we're gonna do, like, a special kind of video. We're gonna go shopping at about four different stores. And we're gonna see what my grocery basket looks like. We're gonna try to not get caught filming. There's some places that are probably gonna let us film, so let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have some fun today. We'll get some good content in, and uh, you can see how I live my normal life on a regular day when I'm not working 14 hours a day. So, uh, let's get into it. I have my list made. It's on a god-awful yellow legal pad and sorted by store. But uh, we're going to go to a uh, bulk store. We're going to go to a, a home, kind of like, not mom and pop, because there's a whole bunch of them, but like a local grocery store chain. We're going to be going to some makeup store, maybe. I feel like I haven't spent too much money. We're going to be getting some presents for my godchild. We're going to be getting, what is it? Oh, we're going to be getting some stuff for a recipe that I'm going to be making today if I have time. Uh, if I have time, we're going to be making about four or five recipe videos today. If I have time. And if I can find my camera because somebody misplaced it. And it wasn't me this time. <laughs> he decided to clean the house while I was gone. And uh, his way of cleaning the house was moving all my things around all over the room and putting his into place. So... Let's see where my things are. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when we're at our first store. Bye now. Also, fun fact, I chopped all my hair off uh, for medical reasons, maybe? Um, it was getting so long, it was ra wrapping itself around my neck, and it was giving me migraines. So you're like, oh no, all your pretty hair is gone. I have some left. It's okay, it grows back. I had the same reaction when she chopped off about six inches shorter than she was supposed to. But we're okay. It's hair. It grows back. Um, and yeah, um, you're going to see the brand new inside of my car. That is new, but is filthy on the inside, so excuse that. But I have a new vehicle now. I have a new house. I have a new job where I work entirely too much, probably. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're going to see what... I'm going to be able to make today, hopefully, if I can find my camera. Here's the hoping. I'm going to clean and pack up uh, groceries when we get back from all the stores. And if I can find it, we're going to be filming those videos on an actual camera, on an actual tripod, instead of me doing selfie style on my phone. Yay. So, uh, yeah. Just a little tidbit information before we're at a store. Bye. We're at our first store. This is called Sam's. If you're not from the South, or you're from a place that has a Costco, it's kind of like Costco. You can buy it in bulk, but the place you live is not really necessarily nice enough for Costco, or has enough people for a Costco. So it's like a smaller Costco, maybe? I haven't been to one in years, so maybe that's a wrong reference. Maybe that's insulting somebody. If it is, I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of like Costco. You can buy everything in bulk, and, um, like... For around the same price as, like, a regular just pack of something from a regular store. You know, like, a pack of two here is like a pack of 12, but it's more or less the same price. So, let's go check out my basket. I'm in the store, and I managed to get a few things, if you haven't noticed. I've got bananas, I've got apples, I've got oranges, some plain bagels, some barbecue sauce, flour, cocoa powder guacamole, bread, and lots of elbow pasta to make plenty of macaroni and cheese. But I've got this ciabatta bread. I'm going to make sure it's vegan before I eat it. If not, I'm going to give it to somebody else to eat. But that is more or less our whole basket at Sam's. All right, this uh, store is called uh, Rouse's Market. Now, I don't know if this is going to have what I need here, but there are other Rouse's that I'm probably going to go to afterwards if I don't find what I need here. It's called the Rouse's Epicurean, and uh, if we can't get what we need here for our vegan cheeses and stuff that I've been looking for, 
we're going to go to the Rouse's Epicurean. So I'm just going to do one intro for both stores because they're both named Rouse's. But this is Rouse's Market, and we're going to be going to Rouse's Epicurean. Okay? Um, this is a local... It was a mom and pop at one point, but now it's a chain of grocery stores. And I like it. Some people find it's a little expensive, but it depends on what you get there. Sometimes they have really good sales. But uh, we're going to see what we can get from here, and then and if we need to, we'll go to the other one. The Rouse's did not have what we wanted, but I did get some of their um, in-house bread from their bakery because it's so good. Their bakery is good. They didn't have anything I needed, but they had bread, so that's still bonus points. Um, we're at Alta now. I'm going to go see if they have the Jeffree Star brushes. Hopefully they do. If they do, hopefully I can get a quick video of it. If not, we shall see. But uh, I want to see if they got the brushes because I need a new sponge. And if a sponge is here, I'm going to get that because my makeup sponge is um, torn and uh, messed up. And when I went to wash it, I washed it like six times and rinsed it out until the water was clean and it was still brown. And it's pink. So... <laughs> We're going to see if they have the makeup sponges because um, Jeffrey does a lot of um, vegan and like uh, he doesn't, it, a lot of his stuff doesn't have like testing on animals or anything. So he's somebody that once I can't afford to, all my makeup is going to come from him. But for right now, we're just going to check and see uh, if his brushes are at Ulta. I just got out of Alta and just like everywhere else in the world, completely sold out of his sponges that I wanted. Uh, I figured since I live pretty much in the middle of nowhere, but enough to where I have an Alta, that I would have been able to get one. But I talked to a lady and she said they got sold out within 20 minutes. They just got the brushes in, so they had brushes. But for right now, I can't really afford to buy new brushes. I just needed the sponge. And uh, so we're going to go to a few other stores and then we're going to go double back to Sephora because I'll need to get some, um, let me see, I need to get some primer and some setting spray because I'm going to try to do my makeup more for my newer videos because it's going to be better production wise, hopefully. So uh, that's three out of the five stores, five stores that I was going to go to. So that's done for right now. But I did talk to a lady, and she is one of the people that does watch my YouTube channel. So that was pretty cool. I handed her one of my new business cards and stuff. So I might have gotten a new subscriber today if I hadn't already had her. So that's cool. But uh, I'll see you after we get out of Walmart. <laughs> that's the next door. Okay, I lied a little bit. The next door is actually Dollar Tree. I thought Walmart was closer. Dollar Tree is actually closer. So we're going to hit up Dollar Tree. We're going to get some milk, some plant-based milk, and some regular box milk, because I do live with somebody who is not vegan, and I buy them their milk when I get my milk also. So we're going to be getting milk, maybe some pantry items. I'm not getting the anything from the frozen section right now, because my freezer is in fact full, and I'm going to try to start making my veggie patties and all from scratch instead of buying them from here. Even though these are very good price and actually pretty decent. But uh, we're going to get some stuff from Dollar Tree now. Um, hopefully you'll see that I did in fact film the Jeffree Star bit. Like his, cake, his, uh, his, his stuff and all. And you'll see that all the sponges are empty. And I pulled out a thing of brushes and all I did was look at it and put it back. So... Yeah, don't get me for that thing I bought, $50 of brushes. I did not. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could spend $50 on makeup brushes right now, but that is not in the budget for this month or within this year. So we're going to see what happens. Maybe next year, maybe for my birthday, someone else will buy them for me. Maybe I'll win them in one of his mini contests, and maybe I'll stop sounding so out of breath because I'm in such a hurry. Who knows? You know. But, yeah, we're going to go inside Dollar Tree. Hopefully there's not too many people and they let us film. I tried to go early enough in the morning where the least amount of people would be. But um, I didn't film breakfast or anything because it was literally leftover overnight oats. So, yeah, let's get into Dollar Tree. My favorite place in the whole world. It's magical. Ugh, don't even get me started. 
Dollar Tree and I got some puzzles, little drink things, some magnetic clips, some organizers, some candy, and some chalk for my god child for Easter. And I got all my plant milks and shelf milks. We're heading home. Walmart. I've decided not to go to Sephora because I spent a little too much at the Dollar Tree because there were a few last minute things I got right before I left uh, to decorate at my house. There's some of those puzzles are actually going to be decorations to my house because I love puzzles. But uh, we're going into Walmart. I think we just need pizza items for the pizza recipe today. And I think that's about it. So we're going to be coming here for pizza sauce and then heading out. So, yeah. I like everybody maybe getting two, three things, hopefully. And then uh, we'll be heading back to, we're going to be going to the Epicurean Rouses. And then we're going to be heading home. Wish me luck. It's Walmart. <laughs> no shade to Walmart. Please don't sue me. I can't afford it. But I would rather shop literally any place else in the whole world. But this is where I can afford to f buy food from for right now. Besides the Dollar Tree. So this is where we are. Thanks. Bye. And Rouse's. Um, I didn't show Walmart because it's gross. I went to the bathroom before I started. Yes, I should have known better. The doors of the bathroom were broken, like, in between the stalls. I literally got up, and I tried to put my hand, and my hand pushed the next stall and collapsed it. It collapsed in on itself. And I did not put my weight on this. I literally just put my hand on it, and it shoved the entire stall over <laughs> like the, the 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 sidewall for the stall hit the toilet on the opposite side and I just put my hand luckily an employee was walking in and I told her I was like uh y'all need to fix this she's like oh we're gonna do it they're probably not gonna get it that fixed but uh all I did was get a jar of dollar and 40 cent pizza sauce so I didn't think that needed a long video but we're here at the Epicurean Rouse's Hopefully we can find some shredded vegan cheese. And if you did not see that, I was like, please, please let there be shredded cheese here. I wish I could buy more food from this Rouse's because it's one of the nicest stores we have that have a, a broader range of food here that I can actually eat. But sadly, I can barely afford <laughs> to come and get the few things here that I do get here. This is the closest we have to like a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods is this nice Rouse's here that I love so much. Has such a great array of things for me to buy here. It's the Epicurean Rouse's and I love it so much. It says uh, Rouse's Market on it, but it's called the Epicurean Rouse's because it has so many nice things from so many different places to eat and I love it so much. So enough of me yapping about it. I've still got cold stuff in the car from the other places. We're skipping Sephora. I'm sorry. And I will try to show you the other things I bought from Dollar Tree that I got on my way past the register out into the car. But um, let's go get us some vegan cheeses. Hopefully I can film and not get caught. So let's see. I was able to find the cheese, some cheddar slices, some provolone, some Swiss, some vegan mayo, and some Ready Whip. I am so excited. It was so hard to find a place that was empty of people to find what I needed, but I found it all and I'm so excited. Shopping trip is done. Let's go home. Ugh, so excited for this cheese and this mayo. Ugh, goodness. I found some other stuff. I'm so excited and it's on sale. We're gonna get some of these. Try to bit, knock everything else over. In the basket it goes. What else do I want? Vegetable pot pie. Yes, please. We're gonna grab two. Oh my goodness. It's wonderful. So much food I can eat that I don't have to make from scratch. So happy. We have another vegetable pot pie sandwich thing. But look, got Annie's, 
These are dairy free. They're gluten free. I think most of them. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. They even have vegan donuts. They're chocolate ones. And there's so many of them. And they're gluten free. Oh, I died. I really just got the only the top half of that basket and that was fifty three dollars with with change. So that's insane. I got it all in one paper bag. And it cost me over fifty dollars for that cheese, that mayonnaise, and those free those freezer dinners. And that is why this is not my main store. But I absolutely freaking love this place. But it is so expensive. <laughs> but it's the only place to get that kind of food for me. So it's my favorite place. But it's it's so expensive. <laughs> I mean, those freezer dinners were on sale, but they were still four dollars a piece. I'm sorry, but in the land of where at Walmart and Dollar Tree where they're a dollar a piece, it's paying four times as much is a lot. But I love this place. <laughs> I spent $50 for one grocery bag full of food. But I can't find it anywhere else. There's literally nowhere else to buy that here. But I love it, and I needed it. So I should be happy, and I am happy. But $50 for one bag of groceries is a lot. And I got the cheaper versions of things, not the most expensive version of things. Because they had a mayonnaise there that was $10. I got this the, 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 the balance one, the earth balance, that was like close to 5 and 6 six to $7 at most. And I'm like, that's so much for mayonnaise. What? It's mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. <laughs> anyway, that's Rouse's. I love this place, but it cost me an, half one of my arms. This is why you're only seeing one of them, probably. But yeah, let's go home and unpack all the vegetables and prepackage things that I bought that I don't have to make, but cost me an arm and a leg. And I have very short legs, so I needed those. All right, bye. <laughs> Stuff from the Dollar Tree. And let's open this grab bag first. And it is feminine care products. Some sort of plastic tablecloth and a wash rag. Well, let's show you what else I got at uh, Dollar Tree. I've got a sewing kit, some more of these plastic organizers, and I've got two containers of coconut milk. We've got the chocolate I've showed you before. That's for Easter. Here's the little cup we've got. That's going in an Easter basket as well. I've got this fun little pineapple thing. It's a light. I'm going to put that on my shelf in my room. These magnetic clips. And I also did get, where is it? I got this beautiful little glass jar, like this little milk thing. I'm going to take it, I'm actually going to put some beads in it, and I'm going to put some um, some little fake flowers, I'm going to put that on my shelf as well. Here are the puzzles I got, I'm going to make them, I'm going to put them under um, glass, I'm going to put them in hanging things, and I'm going to use them as decoration. And I've got this. Now, if you don't know, Dove is actually now going to stop uh, testing on animals. And I think their stuff is vegan. So, Dove has has gone out. It's stopped uh, testing on animals. So, Dove is okay now. So, I've got this to put on my face because I'm a bit windburnt from the parades. But I've got these fun little puzzles that I'm going to put in Easter baskets. Got these little... Unicorn things. This is another one I'm going to make. Keep up my house for decoration. I got this one so I can make it and put it in the kitchen. All these lovely vegetables. And I got this thing of chalk here. But if you want to see what else I've gotten at Sam's. There's my um, bagels. My apples I got. Oranges. Bananas. That's my ciabatta bread. My um, barbecue sauce. And here is all the milk. And uh, here is the jar of pasta sauce, uh, pizza sauce from Walmart. 
more milk, all the jackets, because it's freezing. I also bought, um, it's in the ice box now, because I had to run out and do errands. But I also did buy a, a big container of hummus and uh, guacamole. But yeah, I filled up my entire couch, and that's still not everything I bought today. But uh, I'm going to put out a video. I think I s I'm going to add the numbers up and figure out just how much I spent. But my uh, my budget was around $200. And I've got uh, 50 left. So I think it was $150, I guess, of things that I bought. That's food and everything else. So... Not too bad for all the stuff I got. But, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Puzzles.